new toys! Toy Story 3 is the latest installment of the beloved Pixar series that appeals to the child and all of us. But the movie also contains some surprising insights into the human rights abuses of totalitarian regimes. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights guarantees a wide range of democratic freedoms that are a threat to governments who oppress their people. Although expressed through the vehicle of Pixar's famous animated toys, Toy Story 3 depicts the abuses that befall people in many communist countries, like the Soviet Union, China, and North Korea. Now that Andy is heading off to college, his toys are torn between staying with him in the attic or going to a daycare, where they can be played with every day. Upon arriving at Sunnyside Daycare, the seemingly benevolent teddy bear leader Lotso places them in the toddler room. There they are harshly handled by the toddlers, whereas Lotso's favorite toys are all played with by the older kids. One of the hallmarks of totalitarian regimes is their tendency to oppress people by separating them into classes. While promising to serve the masses, with benevolent rhetoric reminiscent of Lotso's, these regimes always structure society to guarantee privilege for the regime's ruling party at the expense of the masses. Lotso refuses Buzz's request to transition into the older kids' playroom, yes, thus denying him freedom of movement. He then brainwashes Buzz by reverting him to original factory setting in order to punish Buzz for challenging his authority. Lotso then forces the now compliant Buzz to jail the other toys, thus violating their rights by arbitrarily imprisoning them. Does any of this sound eerily similar to life under communism? Citizens in communist nations are denied freedom of movement. If citizens in North Korea challenge authority, their entire family is punished with imprisonment or execution. They are also forced to undergo reconditioning where they are brainwashed with North Korean propaganda. Listen up, folks. We got a way of doing things here at Sunnyside. If you start at the bottom, pay your dues, life here can be a dream come true. But if you break our rules, step out of line, try to check out early, well, you're just hurting yourself. What did, what did you do to him? You all get a good night's rest. You got a full day of playtime tomorrow. <laughs> As Andy's toys escape the daycare, Lotso bars their exit. The toys refuse to return to the repressive system, declaring it unjust as Lotso rolls with an iron fist behind his benevolent rhetoric. They proclaim their right to democratic government. And I'd rather rot in this dumpster than join any family of yours. Jesse's right! Authority should derive from the consent of the governed, not from the threat of force. New toys! When the toys successfully rebel against Lotso's regime, they create a more representative and fair system for all. Unfortunately, tyranny in the real world could be overthrown as easily as in a Pixar film. Human rights are essential to stop dictatorial regimes from treating people as things. So the deep and tragic irony is the fact that, by the end of this movie, the inanimate toys of Toy Story 3 have more rights than many human beings living today in communist countries such as North Korea, China, and the Soviet Union. 